Hey there, science fans. Welcome back to another exciting episode where we explore the wonders of the natural world and the amazing technologies that harness it. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of solar energy, specifically how photovoltaic PV systems turn sunlight into electricity. It's a process that's not only innovative but also crucial for our sustainable future. You know, that bright, warm stuff that makes plants grow and keeps us cozy? Well, it does a lot more than just that. It's also an incredible source of clean energy. Solar power is renewable, meaning it won't run out and it's environmentally friendly, reducing our carbon footprint. PV systems are like amazing energy factories, capturing sunlight and transforming it into electricity we can use to power our homes, schools, and even our cars. Imagine driving a car that's powered by the sun. These systems are made up of solar panels, which are basically collections of solar cells, all wired together. Each cell plays a crucial role in this energy transformation. But how do these solar cells actually work? It's a fascinating process that involves some pretty cool science. Well, it all starts with a common element you might find in your backyard silicon. This element is the backbone of solar cells. So buckle up as we explore the journey from silicon to solar electricity. It's going to be electrifying. Stay tuned to learn how this simple element helps power our world. Silicon, the star of our show, is the second most abundant element on Earth, found in sand, rocks, and even some plants. It's everywhere around us, yet we often overlook its importance. To make solar cells, we need super pure silicon. This isn't just any silicon. It has to be refined to an extraordinary level of purity. Imagine taking regular sand and removing everything but the tiniest speck of pure silicon. This process is both intricate and fascinating. That's what happens in specialized factories. These facilities are equipped with advanced technology to ensure the highest purity levels. This purified silicon is then melted down into a giant molten blob. The transformation is quite a sight to behold. Think of a giant vat of glowing orange liquid. It's like watching a science fiction movie come to life. Slowly, a crystal is pulled from the molten silicon, much like how you might pull taffy. This process requires precision and patience. This crystal is then sliced into super thin wafers, thinner than a piece of paper. These wafers are incredibly delicate. These wafers are the building blocks of our solar cells. Each wafer plays a crucial role in capturing sunlight and converting it into energy. Now, here comes the really cool part. Each silicon wafer is specially treated to create what we call a PN junction. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Basically, one side of the wafer is given a positive charge, that's the P side, and the other side gets a negative charge, the N side. When sunlight hits the wafer, it's like tiny packets of energy called photons are knocking on the door. These photons knock electrons loose within the silicon, and because of the PN junction, these electrons start flowing in a specific direction. And guess what? That flow of electrons is what we call electricity. Section 4 Solar Panels – Joining Forces for Maximum Power A single solar cell doesn't produce a ton of electricity on its own, kind of like how a single raindrop won't fill a bucket. That's why we connect many solar cells together to form a solar panel. It's like a team effort, with each cell contributing its share of electricity. These panels are then connected together in even larger arrays, often installed on rooftops or in solar farms. These arrays can generate enough electricity to power entire neighborhoods. Pretty impressive, right? Section 5 PV versus CSP, a tale of two solar technologies. Now, PV systems aren't the only way to harness the sun's energy. These systems, known as photovoltaic systems, convert sunlight directly into electricity using semiconductor materials. We also have concentrated solar power or CSP systems. These systems take a different approach to capturing the sun's energy. Instead of directly converting sunlight into electricity like PV systems, CSP systems use mirrors to concentrate sunlight onto a central receiver. CSP systems use mirrors to concentrate sunlight onto a central receiver, kind of like a giant magnifying glass. This concentrated sunlight is then used to generate heat. This concentrated sunlight heats up a fluid which then produces steam to drive a turbine and generate electricity. The process is similar to how traditional power plants work but it uses the sun as the heat source. It's like a giant solar oven powering a generator. This method can be very efficient in areas with lots of direct sunlight. Both PV and CSP have their strengths. 
PV systems are versatile and can be installed almost anywhere. PV systems are great for homes and businesses, providing a reliable source of renewable energy on a smaller scale, while CSP systems are better suited for large-scale power generation, making them ideal for utility-scale projects in sunny regions. Section 6. The future is bright solar energy's role in a sustainable world. As we continue to develop and improve both PV and CSP technologies, solar energy is poised to play an increasingly important role in our transition to a more sustainable future. It's a clean, renewable energy source that can help reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and combat climate change. So, the next time you see a solar panel, remember the incredible journey from silicon to solar electricity and the power of human ingenuity to harness the sun's energy for a brighter future.